We're here with AWE TV with Brendan Scully, Senior Business Development Manager at Mateo US. So how, let's talk about Mateo in general and since you're a business development, how does it help businesses sell more products or make a profit period? There's a lot of ways. People are making a lot of money. Just this year, you see it at, uh, at AWE for the first time, some real businesses. We got an enterprise section for the first time. You know, the first two years it was, mm -hmm. it was Pokemon on magazines <laughs> and stuff, right? And now it's like, wow, okay, hold on a second. We can give information to people in big businesses and make their lives easier, right? Mitsubishi is our, my big client this year and they're using AR to sell air conditioners. It's pretty unsexy, right? But it's the unsexy stuff that makes a lot of money in this industry. You know, everybody's trying to figure out B2C. What's the killer app? What's, what's going to be the Tamagotchi of AR? That's, we're kind of past that. We've kind of grown up this year. It's, yep. all right, well, I got these air conditioners. I'm losing sales because people think they're going to be ugly. I'm going to take an app. I'm going to show them exactly what it looks like, email it to their wife, and make a sale. And now these guys are making two stops a day where they used to do one. So some guy selling air conditioners in South Carolina is getting twice the money, almost, not really. It's actually, they won't let us say the percentage, but they're saying $50 million more a year that they're making just because of augmented reality. directly to AR, wow. Directly to this app. And it's a pretty simple app. Sure. It's not some crazy technology that doesn't exist. It's, it's proven marker tracking, pre-visualizing a product for the client. You're about to drop 5K on an air conditioner and suddenly you go, well, you know, I don't really like it there, but if you move it over a little bit, they move it, you sign, and the sale still happens. So it's about giving information to people in really valuable circumstances. Sales, support, logistics, uh, product design. Product cycle, we spoke about product cycle. How, how do you see augmented reality taking a product from the, the entry point in a store to its end and choosing a new product? Absolutely. Um, it's all about, it's, it's kind of a life cycle that we, as we pitch it, right? And it starts with the concept. So uh, Volkswagen, they use AR to design their, their cars. And instead of saying, all right, uh, we're going to design this new bumper. The old bumper was ugly. We got to put a new bumper on. Um, come up with some designs. And the guy comes up with 20 designs, right? Well, maybe, you know, previously he had to pick three bumpers and they carve them out of clay. You know, you've seen those like Lincoln, new Lincoln commercials where the guy's like, That's, that takes forever. How much, how much clay can that guy carve, right? So, all right, well, how about we take all 20 of my ideas, I'll take the CAD, I'll plug it in, we'll get a nice big monitor, call down the CTO, call on the marketing guys, hold up this tablet. See it from every angle. Every single one, check it out. What do you like? Well, let's keep moving with these five. And something that used to take $500,000 in clay and six months, just took you a month, right? And that, so the question is like, how are people making money in this life cycle? By cutting out flack, you know, it, by uh, just saving time and saving money. I mean, you got industries, construction. I don't know, I, I'm gonna botch the number, but something like $40 trillion industry globe. It's like the biggest industry in the world. Mm -hmm. And 30 cents on the dollar goes to waste. They, wow. they waste 30 cents onto the dollar for everything that goes in construction because things show up at the wrong time something gets installed when it wasn't supposed to. Mm -hmm. So I'm ranting, but it's what AR can do is say, yo, here's what you need to do. Here's the information. This is relevant stuff that's gonna make you money and make your life easier. Sure. And it's a hell of a lot cooler than Pokemon when you get down to it, man. Exactly, it's, exactly. it's useful. It's and like so, you said, yeah, growing up. Yeah, this, this conference, man, it's, it's killing. We got an enterprise section over there. We got SAP showing up, Autodesk, you sure, know, sure, some sure. really big companies. They're paying attention this year. So talk about Mateo and, and how Mateo helps businesses and, and small companies, not only the SAPs of the world, mm. business to business, business to B2C like you spoke about. As business development, how do you talk to companies about the use of AR? So yeah, I mean, um, we are here to make the tools that will enable people to, to make these sorts of solutions. So we make an SDK, it, it enables you to make AR for anywhere from engineering to mobile print, we, we do it all, right? Um, my job is to help small businesses and small agencies come in and understand how to communicate that, right? I'm kind of like an evangelist for B2B for us, right? Um, you know, forget about the games, guys. Like, here's, here's how to do it. Here's what you gotta do with your 3D models mm -hmm. um, and help people in that respect. But a lot of the time, there'll be projects and they wanna work directly with us or there's something that isn't in the SDK yet. 
and so we'll go and make the project for them. So mm -hmm. we're, we're kind of like an internal agency for now, sure. but the vision in the future is, you know, we just want to be the tools that people use sure. uh, to get this stuff done. And how can people get in touch with you, Mateo in general, if they have any other questions or even want to yeah. buy the SDK? Uh, yeah, buy the SDK, that'd be great. Uh, there's also a free version. Everybody says sure. it, is, it is free. A little Shandar, watermark, a yeah. little watermark. <laughs> uh, if there's a problem with the watermark, let me know. Um, on Twitter, I'm at B Scully. That's where I'm usually uh, accessible. Um, you can just call the office, that's my desk uh, in San Francisco. Um, but yeah, just get in touch. I mean, we get a lot of people who've been kind of sh struggling through it for you know a year, and they'll call us up and say, "Yeah, you know, I've been pitching all these guys, and it's tough." Uh, just get in touch. We're here. We want to talk. We're a, we're a pretty small company. Uh, we've been doing AR for a while. We're going to keep doing it, um, and we win if the if the industry wins. You know, if if smaller shops can actually make it happen. So, just call me. Just call us. So, thanks for swinging by. Absolutely. Hey, it's a pleasure. Scully, Mateo. Thanks, guys.